Mike Guillory with Texas Instruments, and we're talking a lot about um, 3D implementation for the classroom. And uh, of course, 3D is very popular with different types of learning um, systems, whether it's biology or molecules or the solar system. But what's tough is that there's multiple 3D formats out there. And a lot of times, when you're trying to implement 3D, depending upon the content, it might be difficult to get it to play on a projection system, depending upon what that brain might have implemented. So TI has um, taken the lead to implement a software application and, and a processing system with all of the DLP chipsets that allows it to work with any type of 3D format from any type of 3D device. Whether it's an iPad or an iPhone or a Blu-ray player or a PC, simply um, project, projecting the 3D content in any format, checkerboard, top, bottom, left, right, is now easy to do with the DLP with the new processing system. And we're very excited about many of our customers now implementing this new processor with any chipset. So it allows them to make 3D implementations so, so much easier. Ben, Panasonic has the first product yes. out. Yes, the Panasonic product, which is a lamp-free projection system, offers this new processor and it's first among the product. Now, does the 3D content have to come in on a 1.4 HDMI? Uh, if, if it's for Blu-ray, it will, yes. Okay, but for other sources... Yeah, for other it, sources, it would have, if you're inputting it through an RGB or through a, a USB connection, how, however that can actually you do set the formats, the Blu-ray requires a 1.4. Okay, great. Thanks, Mike.